Hey everybody, my name's Daryl Robera. Welcome back to Journey to VR. So for my Friday favorite post this week, I wanted to share with you a really cool plugin that allows me to get my Maya scene directly into a Vive, and you could go to a Vive or Oculus. There's a couple plugins out there that do it. I'm using the one from M Oculus. It's called VR Plugin Professional. And it's really cool because it, it allows you to get all the, the kind of beautiful power and high fidelity rendering that Viewport 2.0 has directly into the Vive. It uses Maya's stereo camera, so it's got full stereo action happening. It's, it's really pretty fun and super cool. So what we're checking out here is actually the beginning of my VR experience. So I've got, this is the rough data. This is just the raw photogrammetry. It hasn't been cleaned up yet. And that's, that's what we're gonna be talking about next week is the process of doing this photogrammetry for this environment and the beginning of the cleaning up process to get it to look really nice and tight. And this is done by John Tojak. I'll be doing a Skype-based interview with him next week to talk about the process that he used to start to get this data and where it will end up going as we continue the journey to VR and we start to refine this data. And then I've got shoved into it is um, just that little motion graphics element that I showed you guys on Wednesday. So it's sort of just kind of moving around that environment. And this is, you know, kind of early stages, sort of prototyping ideas and things like that. And the thing that's super cool is I can actually see this in the headset now. So let's go ahead and check that out and see what happens here. So all we have to do to get it into the headset is to launch the plugin. As soon as we do that, it kind of comes up here. You can see that it also launches the Steam app for me. So it's gone ahead and it's hooked Maya into this guy. And if we click on um, the big play button, what it's going to do is it's going to go through and essentially build up a, a rig for me, a little, a little stereo camera rig. You can see that it just popped it into my screen over here. So as I start to move that headset around, you can see obviously that's, that's picking up the movement and the tracking of my Vive. And you can see that it's obviously a kind of standard Maya stereo camera rig inside of that guy. So if I look through here, you know, like I'm, I'm in that, like the viewport that I'm seeing through the headset is actually the, um, the 3D space in stereo. And it's got a ghosted version of the Maya desktop in front of it, which I'll try to capture on my cell phone here in just a second. But a few other things that you can do, you can turn on and off and that's for the view that's in the headset here, all the viewport 2.0 stuff. So do you wanna have fog? Do you wanna have wireframe on, texturing, ambient occlusion? you know, all these little buttons and options you can kind of, you can turn on and off here. And then you obviously have desktop options and that's for the ghosted desktop that's sitting inside of the, um, inside of the, the Oculus here. So let's, let me see if I can get um, a video of that that I'll then cut to here. Let me see if I can quickly shove my camera in here and try to record. Oh yeah, yeah, it looks cool. All right, so over here, we'll hit record on that. And I'll just kind of back up here. So you can see, look, that's the environment. That's the 3D, uh, 3D environment. And then as I kind of scan up here, you can see there is the Maya desktop, just the desktop, not even Maya, but that's just your, you know, your, your, your computer's desktop. And obviously I've got a little bit of opacity set on that. So you can kind of see through the ghosting, but that is, that's super cool that it does that. And then obviously, you know, it's picking up all the head tracking. And then when you start playing it back, you know, it just looks, well, it's actually pretty cool. I have to say, I'm excited about this. I, you know, this was, this was a big, a big test. Is it going to work? Is it going to look cool? Is photogrammetry with these kind of motion graphic elements going to be, going to be sweet? And when I look at it in here, I'm just like, all right, I could, I could watch this all day. Super, super, super cool. And the other thing that this does, that's kind of nice is you can, you can switch this over here so that you can actually get a mirror of what this is actually showing here. So let's just pump our gamma up a little bit here on that. It's a little, little messed up, but obviously then that's showing, you know, the environment in, in all of its glory um, through the headset. And that's sort of the stereo pairs that are getting put out of those cameras. So really, really super cool. I'm excited. The journey to VR has, you know, it's, it's, it's in full swing now. We're gonna be creating stuff. And uh, we'll be talking next week to John Tojak again about how he did this photogrammetry and the process, you know, kind of the evolution of that. So this is, like I said, the raw data. It hasn't been cleaned up yet, but it's a, it's a good start and I'm super excited. So thanks so much for taking the time to check this out. Make sure if you're watching this on YouTube or Vimeo to go back to the area and go to the Journey to VR blog. There's a lot of other content that's on there. There's some amazing articles that are being written every week that kind of tie into a lot of the topics that we're talking. So Thanks again for tuning in, everybody. Cheers.